iOS 9 has some really good multitasking features. So in this video, we're going to take a look at them. How to use slide over, split screen, and picture in picture. And multitasking comes in three forms. You can have two apps running fully side by side in split view mode. You can peek at an app and use it in limited ways with slide over. And you can run a video in a window all on its own in a mode called picture in picture. Let's start with slide over view. So you can run a second app on your iPad without exiting the app that you're currently using. So I've got a page open. If I want to copy some text on this uh, web page and then paste it into notes or any, any other app, I can use slide over to activate it. So on the right hand side, just drag your finger and out will pop a little tray. And this is where you can select the app that you want to use. At the moment, notes are highlighted and you can see the main app Safari has been grayed out. So if I touch anywhere on Safari, then the slide over tray will disappear. So it's not truly multitasking where I can work from one screen to the other screen, which is what split view is. So let's get it back again. Now if I want a different app, so if I'd like to copy some text from Safari and paste it into a Word document. Up at the top here is where you can select the app that you'd like to choose. So you can go up and down looking at all the apps on your iPad. So I'd like to copy something into Word. So I'm going to tap Word, which will open up Word in a limited view on that slide over panel. And it will work as the, uh, the, as the app is intended. So if I want to create a new document, so I'm just going to use Word as I normally would. And now I'd like to copy some text. Tap Safari to copy into Word. So I'm going to copy it and come back. Tap Word. And now the focus is on Word. Safari is grayed out. And then I can paste it into Word. And then I can continue scrolling up and down this web page, picking another web page. And every time I want to take some information from a web page and put it into Word, I just come back here and I can uh, work in the Word app. And then I can save it. I can do anything that I'd, that I'd normally do in Word. To remove the slide over tray, you can either just tap on the main app and it will disappear. Or there's a little handle there and you can just drag it away. Now the other multitasking view which is the most productive one is called split view and split view starts with slide over i'll open up the slide over tray and then with the handle i keep dragging and that becomes split view so i can have the windows at different widths so i might still want to have the word app that narrow and safari that wide but with that handle i can keep dragging it can have them equally in width and this handle in the middle here is how you change the width of the two documents and i can pinch and zoom as i would normally so it's fully functioning on the left so copy some text copy and then tap so that words the active app and get it into a position where i can paste it but you'll notice that safari is still visible i can still use it it doesn't have to be moved away. If I wanted to change applications, then I've got the handle at the top here. So this one will change to the selection tray. So maybe I want to put something into a note. So now I can go into a different web page, for example, pick a different web page and use Safari completely on its own on the left. And whenever I want to, whenever I want to take some notes or use information from the left hand app to the right hand app, I can do that and still see both of them. So I'll copy some text here, go into notes, tap into notes, makes notes the active app, and then I can paste that into notes. And whenever you finish with that, just drag the handle to go back to full screen. The third multitasking feature is called picture in picture or PIP. And this refers to the feature that lets you overlay a small video window on top of all other apps, as well as the home screen, allowing you to keep the video playing while navigating the iOS and going in and out of apps. So I'm going to Safari and let's pick a video. So I'm going to start the video playing. 
So the video is playing. And now if I want to keep watching that video, but I want to do other things, then when you tap the video, you can see this little icon in the, the bottom here. You've got the AirPlay video, then you've got the full screen video, and then in the middle is picture in picture. If I tap the middle button, it takes the video out and I can move it all around, watch it wherever I like. And go down here, tap the home button. It's still sitting there, like so I can still be watching the video. I can open another app up and be working in that app while still watching that video, moving it around the screen. And when you're done with that, you can either tap the cross or tap the button on the left, which will take it back and put it back in the video, where you can stop it from there.